Hi everyone, Elite here with a new process video for HipKit Club. And as you saw the um, sketch just vanishing, <laughs> I'm using uh, a sketch for the project today. And this was actually really easy to make because of that sketch. Now for me, the way I use a sketch is I usually look at it, I take a good look at it, I pick out a few elements that I like, and then I tend to just put it aside and um, yeah, and do my thing. So in this case, there we go, I put it back for you again so you can see. So in this case, I used a bunch of layers behind my photo and I'm going to place it kind of where it's placed on the sketch and I'm going to place my title um, in roughly the same place as it is in the sketch. And for those triangles at the corners, that's just usually not my style. Um, I much prefer to kind of scatter my embellishments and I don't tend, I tend to do clusters and not just elements that are not, you know, layered or touching each other. So, you know, take from the sketch what works for you and what you like and combine it with your own style. And that's what I'm doing here. So my layers are going to be pretty tight. This is a great way to use scraps. Um, you can create uh, interesting layers. They don't all have to be you know, exactly, I don't know, an eighth of an inch larger than the layer before them. Um, you can kind of, what I'm doing here, but the piece wasn't big enough, so I'm kind of creating um, kind of a patch and no one will know that it wasn't an entire piece of pattern paper. And I just keep going until I think it's enough. Um, no rules, just kind of, um, a feeling. So just go with the flow. And I have this adorable photo of my two girls. I, in the last couple of months, I would say, or since the summer, I haven't really pulled out my good camera or, you know, it hasn't been around. So I find that the best way if I want to get good photos is to just keep it in the living room, keep my good camera in the living room. And, you know, in that case, when it's there, I can just pull it out and snap a few shots and I don't have to go upstairs to my room or something uh, to bring it. So that's um, a way to, you know, raise the odds that I will use it. And yeah, in this photo I took with my good camera and um, I think you can tell the difference because it's so much better than my phone photos. So these are just my two girls in our living room, just being cute. Honestly, there is no story here to tell. Um, I was just having fun with the products. And um, I do find sometimes, you know, a sketch can kind of, um, kind of mess with my workflow or design flow. Um, just because I'm trying to follow the sketch and yeah, so there's a lot of like moving things around. I kind of, uh, so I decided I wanted something else there on the other side, kind of opposite the photo. And I wasn't sure if I was just going to add my title there or if I should use uh, one of the journaling cards. So for a long time, I'm playing around with the journaling cards. I did like the general idea um, of the design, um, like it like it looks at this point, but I end up uh, not going with um, with that idea and just going for something that is more similar to the sketch itself. And yeah, that's okay. But it took me a while to get there, which is fine. You know, it's it was this is kind of an enjoyable part of the process, at least until uh, a certain point. And when I reach that point where I'm kind of like, ah, I can't make up my mind, I'm not loving anything, and I'm just a bit stuck, then usually I walk away. And uh, by the time I come back, 
you know, I'm either refreshed or I have kind of um, my eyes are not my eyes. I can look at things. Um, maybe I'm a little bit more objective at this point or something. So here you see me. I really wanted to use some of those uh, lovely um, cards, you know, the three by four cards or the four by six. So I'm playing around with this um, design. And sorry about these fancy um, transitions from one part to the next. I don't know what happened. My software took over. Um, I'm usually not that fancy. So yeah, that's me playing around, not giving up. I really liked those houses that I fussy cut from one of the papers and I wanted to use that. And then I really liked these uh, puffy trees that came in, I think this is a Pink Fresh um, Studio Puffy Stickers. So I wanted to make a little scene. I mean, this photo was taken at home. So I thought it would be, you know, very appropriate to have some houses. And um, yeah, but it didn't, it, it wasn't easy. So I think it's because, you know, I didn't really have a place to ground it. The first layout that I created with this kit, you can find it on my channel. I made these... Um, some like mountains I guess or hills from uh, torn pattern paper and then I could kind of tuck uh, a bunch of embellishments um, you know behind those lines or on those lines of those hills and that was just much easier but here because it's kind of yeah I don't have a grounding point um, it was challenging to find a good um, arrangement for them so moving on because I have no idea what I want to do there I am creating my title and as usual I am so imaginative I know it's amazing so <laughs> there's the sticker that says favorite with an exclamation mark at the end and I decide to add to it you are my favorite and um, yeah I'm using the exclusive letter stickers that came I think they were in the embellishment kit they are white and they have tiny black dots uh, tiny polka dots so that makes them amazing and um, yeah they're probably one of my favorites I also like the fact that they have um, you know some of the letters are kind of blocked in like the O and the R in my case here but there's also an open version for each letter so you can choose um, I thought I was going to make kind of um, a little, again, kind of um, a mat for my title with a bunch of pattern papers. And I did that. Um, you can see that there. It's on the right, to the right of the screen. Um, but then I decided it was a little bit too, I don't know, wasn't working for me. So I decided, like in the sketch, I'm just going to adhere my title directly on my background paper. And the background paper is one of my favorites from this month. Um, it has this beautiful light blue shade with some pattern. <laughs> and I just love it. So I wanted to use it as a full background. I was considering using just uh, white cardstock. But I like this pattern too much. And since I wasn't planning on using mixed media, I thought it would be a good opportunity to use some uh, pattern papers and not uh, white cardstock as my background timing. So I'm trying to create now some sort of element that will help me ground those houses that I really want to add. And um, the thing is, I have a ton of papers that I can use and create, you know, kind of these strips of pattern paper that you see under my uh, title right now. But I wanted to keep the color scheme very narrow. Um, I don't know, I just, I really liked the whole um, kind of light blue, black and white color scheme and I didn't want to bring in a lot more color. So I'm trying to stick with the papers that um, fit that color scheme and I have a few choices. Um, but yeah, it does uh, narrow, uh, you know, it narrows my uh, choices, which is fine because that usually means that things go faster when you have less to choose from. So 
playing again with those little um, strips of pattern paper. I also have these two little labels that I cut from one of the pattern papers and uh, I think they look super cute and I'm going to add them to the top of my photo. I'm just trying to find a way um, to make them look right. So I'm going to overlap them a little bit and then just write a bit on the top one. And um, yeah, so this is this is where I'm at at the moment, kind of not knowing what to do. <laughs> really, really um, indecisive, indecisive, undecisive, indecisive about the placement of that <laughs> label. So what to do when you're not sure, I move on to something else. In this case, I'm cutting up, fussy cutting the star from one of the pattern papers. Uh, this is one of the Pink Fresh Studio papers. And um, yeah, I thought that would look cute. And the colors, um, the color of that star is working really well for, um, for my layout here. And I thought that was, that just looked cute behind my little, uh, labels there. So will I commit? Will I ever commit to those strips of paper? Yeah, this layout was definitely, um, it took me longer in comparison to my usual pace, uh, especially for this rather, you know, simple design with not, I don't have any mixed media here. Um, so this should have been a little bit faster, but yeah, in a way, that sketch um, was just a little bit, um, yeah, challenging, challenging. I, I'm not used to using sketches and I really wanted to make it my own. And yeah, it was, um, it took some time, but it was fun. And now it's time, I'm just going through my stickers there and seeing if there's something that um, you know, stickers that work for my color scheme. And I found a few um, of these snowed peaks. Um, so I stuck them behind the star. I probably could have also put them behind the houses. Maybe that would have made more sense. But um, I, kind, I just wanted something more in that corner where the star is. So that's where I put them. Okay, trying to commit now to those strips of pattern paper <laughs> and finally arrange the houses on them and I'm going to make it I'm gonna do it so how are you all doing it's soon Christmas are you ready we are so not I mean we're done with the presents but we still don't have a tree it seems that it's a family tradition in my husband's family to buy the tree at the last moment and um, I'm okay with that because then we have something to do usually on the morning of the 24th or something. <laughs> we can decorate the tree. Um, and also having a two year old, uh, I'm kind of happy, you know, the less time that tree is standing in our house, the, you know, the odds for a huge mess and, um, broken ornaments, um, are slightly um, lowered. <laughs> so, so I'm okay with that. Okay. Committing now to those houses and I added some dimensional adhesive to make them pop. And I'm kind of, you see, I'm kind of keeping everything a little bit wonky. I didn't want anything to be too straight, trying to keep that whimsical, uh, spirit of things. And, uh, I love those puffy trees. They're so cute. Adding some touches of gold, and just having fun with this. This was already kind of, you know, I know where everything goes so I can start kind of to have fun with um, the rest of the embellishments. And I decided I'm okay with adding a few pops of gold here. And um, yeah, this will soon be done. So I just wanted to wish you Happy holidays, wherever you are in the world, whatever holiday you're celebrating, uh, whichever season it is for you, I hope you will have a wonderful time with your loved ones. And yeah, soon it'll be 2018. Unbelievable, I know. Um, I have some plans, some new things in the works. Um, 
definitely more content. So look out for that. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a lovely day. Bye.